Hello and welcome to this lockdown learning video where we're going to take a look at folder tracks. So as you can see on screen, I've got an arrangement which is not super complicated. It's got 31 tracks on it with some automation, etc. And plus effects channels and so on. But it's getting a bit unmanageable. So at the moment, these tracks are all zoomed out to the absolute maximum. So we're, we're as small as we can go. And there's already too much stuff to have on screen. And obviously, you wouldn't work like this. You'd have your tracks a bit bigger, maybe all of them a bit bigger, etc. And now it's just a festival of scrolling, which is no good, particularly if your tracks aren't in any kind of sane order, which often happens in the middle of a session. So a couple of quick tips. Firstly, is if you want to get everything back to a sane size, you can do it all by zooming out. But the problem is, let's say you've got a few tracks where some of them are bigger, and then you zoom out either using this or the keyboard command, you can see we've still got these tracks are bigger than the others. So these are down to the minimum, but those aren't. And if you hit Z twice, we get to some kind of sanity. You can zoom out a bit more from there if you want, but then it gets to the point where you can't see all the buttons properly and so on. So generally that's as small as you go. But yeah, Z zooms in maximally on one. And if you hit Z again, it zooms out on that track. So everybody's down to the same size again. However, that's probably not enough to manage a larger project. So you can see we're still scrolling and so on. So what we need is a thing called folder tracks. Now, folder tracks are just for organization in the project window. They don't change the sound of your project at all. They don't change the sound of the tracks. All they do is organize things and put them in a folder, which means you can compress them as we'll see in a minute. So you can close those down. Now, Normally, what I'd tell you to do if you were using uh, the pro version of Cubase is to select all these first by clicking on the first one and then shift and clicking on the last one. But on Cubase Elements, if you right click or two finger click, you don't get the option you get in Cubase. So in Cubase, you would go add uh, selected tracks to new folder, but you don't get that here, which is a bit of a surprise to me. So we have to do it the boring old way. So all we're going to do is click on this first one and then do add track and add folder. I'm going to call it drums. I'm going to move it up so it's on top of that one. And now I'm going to click on the first one. Shift and click on the last one. So these are all the drums, percussion tracks, and then I'm going to move them up into the drums one. And you see the green arrow appears. So it's when the green arrow is there, that's when they will fall inside there. And you can see it gets indented here. Now the beauty of this is if I decide to close this folder, all of the drum tracks are inside there, and this is much more manageable. So you can see there, and particularly if we're zoomed in a bit, I can still zoom out. I can even make my drums folder smaller, but there they all are. So I can get them back. When I want to work on the drums, I can do that. And then when I've finished working on them, I can close them up. So in this kind of project, you can see that you end up pretty quickly with just a few. So I'm just going to end up with... Let's just add another three folders. So that one's going to be bass. That one's going to be effects. That one's going to be synths. So I can drag that one in, see the green arrow, and drag the other bass in. There's my basses. Then I've got some effects tracks. So they can go in there. And then further down, I've got some synth tracks. So there's that one there. All of those there. And now, even without everything in there, I've got it much more manageable. So just some more vocal ones. So I could add those in as well. But that's folder tracks. So say you can just put all your tracks in there. You can even have folders inside folders if you get really, you know, over the top. So if you've got seven layered up kick drums, you can put them inside a folder inside your drums folder but they're just for organization in the project window. There is one thing you can do with them though, is if you've got, let's say drums here. So you can see here at this point, all of those are there. If you do something to the folder track part, it the same thing will be done to all of the parts inside that folder. So when I said they don't change the sound, it doesn't change the sound in terms of mix, but it does mean you can do editing on them all at the same time. So let's say, I wanted to get rid of half of this. I can just trim that like that. And you see they all get trimmed. And we can put them back if needs be. If I wanted to just delete all of those drums at that point, I can just delete this part here. And they go. 
So it means that group editing is possible. It makes it much easier in terms of trimming things and so on. So that's folder tracks. I hope you found that useful and we'll see you again soon.